Welcome. A common question that quite often comes up is how long does a pinched nerve last? Now I get hundreds and hundreds of emails asking these questions, but again, this is a very complex question. It's like saying, how bad is my sprain? Meaning how long will it take to go away? Well, that's the same type of thing with a nerve. If a nerve is very compressed, it's going to take longer to repair. If a nerve is barely compressed or just a little bit compressed, it's not going to take as long. Now realize that nerves are very complex. You see the nerves come out between the spine. This is a motor unit, a disc and a pair of nerves. And you can see that green is the energy. That's the energy from the brain coming down the spine out that nerve to wherever it's supplying, which I'm about to show you. If there's irritation on that nerve, you can see it starts to turn red. And as it turns red, that's the blocking or irritation on the nerve that we call the pinched nerve. It's like stepping on a garden hose, trying to water the garden. So when you look at the spine, you have the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, and the lumbar spine. It looks like an S shape from the side. It should be straight from the front. As there becomes irritation and weakness on the discs, on the ligaments, the muscles, you can then start affecting nerves. We call it a pinched nerve, a herniated disc, a bulging disc that can actually affect the nerve. If you look here in the lower back, you can see this bulging disc is affecting that nerve. Now, there are many things that can affect nerves, not only in the spinal column, but outside the spinal column, like nerves that come out of the neck that may be thoracic outlet syndrome, maybe compression in the elbow, maybe carpal tunnel in the wrist, can be a piriformis syndrome or a sacroiliac problem, which is down here in the lower back. So once the nerve exits out, it can be compressed as well. But again, the key thing behind this is how long will this nerve take to get well? And here's your answer. The earlier you get on it, the odds of it repairing is going to be much quicker but you must get the irritation off the nerve. You must find out the causation, where it's coming from. Instead of treating it with a pain pill or an injection or just an epidural to get the inflammation down, you need to get to the root of the problem. If it's your gait that's off, if it's your pelvic that's off, if it's your daily activities of sitting on a wallet or sitting too much, having a bad support in your lower back, uh, kind of looking over a desk all day, texting all day, Poor posture all has a tendency and all will affect nerves directly as well as indirectly. Remember the body is trying to stay strong. When there becomes a weakness, other areas start to compensate. So you can have a better understanding that the nerves that come out of the neck go down the neck and shoulders, down the arm and the hand. We know where the nerves go to according to what we find, the, di the, the, the weakness, the, the tingling, the numbness, the motor integrity. The, the paresthesia or the sensory disturbances of different areas within the arm or different areas within the leg. We can know that the nerves that come out into the leg are come from the lower back called the sciatic nerve, this big nerve right here. But it's important to understand that these nerves not only supply the, the muscles, the joints, they supply the organs, the tissues, the lungs, the heart, the gallbladder, the stomach, the large intestine, male, female reproductive organs. They go into the throat, up from the neck. It's a very complex structure. That's why many people who have nerves that are being affected may not only have pain, but may have other symptoms going on, like acid reflux, constipation. The list goes on and on and on. So to get back to our question, with the nerve, the most important thing is getting the irritation off the nerve, finding the main causation so the body will repair and heal. Now I compiled one of the largest self-help videos here on the internet, all about self-helping your own condition by giving you exercises, giving you techniques, and having you try things early because hopefully in many of these situations, the body can repair and heal. Although, if your condition continues to linger on, if you notice the muscles getting weaker, or the muscles getting smaller, or your reflexes are not right, or things just are not getting well, I recommend you always follow up with medical consultation to get it evaluated so you can get this thing corrected early. Remember, when there's irritation on nerves, and you have pressure sitting on them for long periods of time, there becomes damage to the nerve. Remember, the nerve just is not the nerve. It has oxygen. It has 
vessels, it has circulation, it has things that keep the nerve alive. So you don't want compression where the nerve starts to degenerate or starts to deteriorate because it may be irreversible. Remember, peripheral nerves can rejuvenate as long as it's not past that limit. But remember, if you're having problems and they're not getting better, just don't pray. Do something today and make sure you get it evaluated correctly. Leave your comments below. I ask you to share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't so you can continue, continue to receive the best of the self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.